Hi, Raymond Raptors. It's Mrs. Vargas. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Today, I have a book to read to you. You might have seen another YouTube video where I read the book called Animals in Camouflage. And it was a really neat book where you had to find the animals that had camouflaged themselves on their background. So their color was blending in with the background. There are two other books by that author. One is called Animals Black and White, and one is called Animals Brightly Colored. So today I thought I would read the book to you called Animals Brightly Colored, and it is similar where it's going to give you some information, and it's going to zoom in on an illustration, and you have to see if you can guess the animal. All right, so I'm gonna read it, and then I'll turn the page around. My dazzling red feathers add a splash of color to a winter day as I search for berries and seeds. What am I? Okay, this is the big picture they show us. They zoomed in on it. What kind of animal has red feathers and searches for berries and seeds? What do you think? I bet some of you thought a bird, but what kind of bird? Let's see. It says a cardinal. So it looks like they were zooming in on his face. Just as the winter snow begins to melt, I look for my mate. Her feathers aren't as bright as mine, but she can echo my cheery song. I offer her my favorite food, sunflower seeds. And I see cardinals at my feeder sometimes. The male is brightly colored and the female has a lighter color. All right, here's your next one. Here's your clue. I nibble on colorful coral in warm water reefs. My bright blue scales blend in with my aqua world. What am I? Okay, that's all they're giving us. Okay, so this, bird, this animal doesn't have feathers like a bird, it has scales. Okay, so you have to think, what kind of animal has scales? Lizards have scales, fish have scales, snakes have scales, but it says it lives in warm water reefs. So I don't think that it's a lizard or a snake. Let's see, did you guess a fish? Look what kind of fish it is, it's called a parrot fish. A parrot is a bird, but parrot fish, maybe because it's colored so brightly like parrots. Let's see what it says. Like the tropical bird, I come in many colors. With my bony mouth, similar to a parrot's beak, I crush and crunch the hard coral. The coral kind of looks like rocks, even though it's made up of tiny little organisms. My dinner crumbs become fine beach sand. Look at those teeth. Sharp. Hmm. All right, let's see what our next clue is. Oh, I love this color. I am not big, but I am very hairy and have many feet. I munch a bunch of leaves for lunch. What am I? This is a very tricky clue. I have no idea what this is just looking at this illustration. Do you? It says not very big, but I'm hairy. And I think the big clue here is many feet. What kind of creature do you know that has many feet? Did you say a caterpillar? You were right, look at it. So they really zoomed in on all of those kind of yellow, they kind of look fuzzy parts. It says, I am a yellow bear caterpillar. I also like to eat cabbage and corn. Those are purple cabbage leaves. I make a soft cocoon and wait inside until I become a Virginian tiger moth. So you probably already know that caterpillars turn into butterflies or moths. Let's see what's next. That, that clue was tricky. I may look like a pretty plant with my pink belly, but I am an animal. I have tentacles that sway in the currents of the sea. So it's something that lives in the sea or the ocean. What am I? It almost looks like a monster or something. Those look like little teeth to me. I don't know, any guesses? Let's see. Ah, it's called a sea anemone. 
With a stunning sting, I zap and trap my prey. But my friends, the clownfish, can safely hide in my tentacles. In return, they chase away my enemies. If you've ever seen the movie Finding Nemo, okay, or Finding Dory, you know that the clownfish, Nemo and Marlin, his dad, they live inside an anemone. So anemones, these parts, these squiggly parts, these tentacles, sting and hurt other fish, but not clownfish for some reason. You can actually see it eating a fish here. Ooh. All right, let's see what this one is. My elegant green scales sparkle like emerald jewels, but I have a reptile smile, long tail, and claws. What am I? So we already talked about scales on the parrotfish page, and I mentioned that um, snakes and lizards have sna uh, scales also. And this says it has a reptile smile and a long tail and claws. Here's the clue. You can kind of see the scales here and here. I'm thinking maybe a lizard or a frog. What are you thinking? Let's see. An iguana. That's a certain kind of lizard. They can be quite big. I am a very big lizard. My dog Gracie's here being silly. Hi, Gracie. I am a very big lizard. I like to lie on a sunny branch of a tropical tree after a lazy lunch of leaves and fruit. You want to see the book, Gracie? No, thank you, Gracie. Okay, Gracie wants to see the book, too. Okay. All right, Gracie. Get off. All right. I actually saw some iguanas in real life before. They can be quite big. Okay. Next clue, my fur is rusty orange. I am often called sly, but I'm also quite shy. Think about what sly means. Sly can mean clever, but kind of in a sneaky way. I hunt for mice in the woods and fields at night. What am I? So it has orange fur, it's sly, so it's clever, it's shy, and it hunts at night. Take a look here. You might know this one. Looks like a furry animal. Think about it. It is a fox. Were you thinking a fox? Good job. My mate and I make a cozy home for our pups in a hollow log or we dig a den on a hidden hillside. They're cute. All right, is this the last one? It might be. Yep, one more. My brilliant feathers flash in the rain forest as I fly from tree to tree in search of fruit and seeds. I have a loud piercing call. When something's piercing, it's so loud, it, it almost, it kind of hurts. What am I? I think you can see some feathers and if you were paying attention to the cover of the book, I think you can figure out who the last creature is. It is a macaw. Now there are different kinds of macaws, boys and girls. This one is called a scarlet macaw and it has the rainbow feathers. And I've been lucky enough to see one, not in the wild, but at a zoo. And I've also seen uh, a, a macaw called a blue macaw. So it has the same body shape, but it's all that kind of turquoise blue, very pretty. So let's see what it says about this one. I am the giant of the parrots, my large, powerful bill can crack a tough nut. I am not only bright, I am smart too. That one's real pretty. And it gives us some more information about the uh, animals in a little more detail. So I hope you liked that book, Animals Brightly Colored. If you haven't seen the video of me reading Animals in Camouflage and you liked this one, you might wanna check it out. And maybe on another video, I'll read Animals Black and White. Thanks for watching. Bye.